Hi everyone. As mentioned yesterday, we have a package here from Frank down in Australia, and I know at least one of you have guessed right what the the new goodies are. So let's actually have a have a look at the first offerings. Just put the phone to one side. I need to be careful here. Getting into things. Oh, can't be that rubber smell. And here we go, I hope. things that I have noticed right away and I'm not 100% sure but I think Frank actually mentioned it online is that he doesn't actually mould the edges of the mat so I can see that right away looking for a hundred percent like for like on glad this knife is burnt and if you want a hundred percent like for like I'm assuming that that would be possible but if you look at what's been just at the moment and I'm glad the sample that I sent down to Frank was good enough to, to get this done. This is what you'll get and it's even got the holes already in place for the fixings. So what I plan to do now is I plan to go to the car and you're going to love this. Use the forehead for a hatch prop. And let's go and drop. Oh, dearie me. You need to give me a moment. This is proving a bit more challenging. As I to hold the camera and do it as my left arm has no strength whatsoever. Apparently neither does my right hand one. Jeez, that was down there tight. Now have a look at the original. I don't quite see where the finishing that Frank mentioned not being not being done comes into play. But one thing I did notice is we have a two two extra holes here, which I didn't see on the sample map. Not sure if this is because it's an early car or if it's a late car. But I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to pull this one off and lay it side by side first with the other one. Oh, the holes are there. My bad. Uh, let's get it in and see how it does. Hopefully that one will not be glued down too well. Normally they're, they're easy, reasonably easy to come off. Well, that's it out. And one thing that is immediately apparent when I was lifting this out and then lifting the two down to compare is the difference in weight. Uh, Flax is actually considerably heavier than the other one. Uh, but if we look and overlay them, I 
we can see that size wise slightly different absolutely nothing that to worry about because this could have easily changed shape and stretched I already had a couple of the holes actually disintegrate on me uh, bear in mind this is 60 years old uh, so let's same length, height, what not now normally these were glued on the back I'm not going to glue this new one in but I'm going to go and fit this mat onto the seat back and let's see how it actually sits let's see if I can get a camera to behave and despite being I was just about to say I'm about to go and fit this and despite being allegedly te technically comp competent uh, actually a much better design and the technology than I'm actually using it so uh, I really wish I'd brought a GoPro home now and this is becoming a bit of a challenge Andy Jones, buddy, I feel your pain moving the camera about all the time. There we go. I think. Dear me. That's just going to fall, so I need to stay. I just need to stay upright. taking all of the screws out, the two black ones are in uh, if you've ever actually done the job of unsecuring the back seat uh, the things do tend to go for a walk that's us more or less in position and as can be seen it sits very very well, I'm not sure these these holes were ever actually in the material originally from the factory or if they were actually just made on a if it was just glued on and then on a case by case basis popped through with an, an all and then secured two screws in and I've just felt the seat drop down and of course there we go this spire clip disappeared into well wherever the bloody things go Set it in the back. Mm -hmm. 
Be one thing another day. But certainly all the clips are going back and roughly where they should be, except that one. And that has to be the one at the back, of course. Can't be any of the ones you can get to sensibly. Still waiting for that cat to make an appearance. She usually doesn't doesn't miss a trick if I'm out in the garage. It's one of her favourite places to stalk me. Back years as normal on the small tails would normally be screwed down. Would, sorry, would normally be glued down. Got it. And let's raise it up for a look. All seems to be fitting very, very well. Rather than the other than the back ears, that need to go on either side and get glued in, which was the same on the other ones. Form and foot wise, very very tidy, and certainly a huge improvement from the the rotted rubber ones we have at the moment. And of course, next up on Frank's agenda is. This one here, which, you know, I think we've, we can all appreciate suffer badly. This one, fortunately, is, like the car is pretty, pretty much original. Pro, it's back as it's... So see that one in this car is actually cracked here. It's cracked there, so one lovely fitting replacement seat back, Mark Frank. Just looking for part two now to complete the set. Well done, fella. Start getting your deposits in, guys. <laughs> 